Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Pooh Shiesty. Now, Pooh Shiesty then took to social media to finally speak out about all the things that have been going on. Now, I've been covering this Pooh Shiesty story like no other. I've been up to date on each and every development as far as this court case is concerned, right? Now, lately, things have been quiet. It seems like Pooh Shiesty was going to enter in a guilty plea on some of the charges that were levied against him, but since then we haven't heard anything as far as the media is concerned. Now there's been several reports that said Pooh Shiesty was going to plead guilty, his, his court case got pushed forward or into the future because they had to prepare things or whatnot, but Pooh Shiesty himself hasn't said anything. Until today, he went on social media and made several posts to let people know what's up and what's going on with him and how he feels things are going to be going down in the future. Now, before we get to the specifics and break down all these posts and really analyze where Pooh Shiesty is coming from, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, man, let's talk about Pooh Shiesty speaking out for the very first time since being locked up. Now, for those of you who don't know or need to be reminded, Pooh Shiesty is looking at several different charges. One is a charge in Florida where he's being a leisure, we should say being accused of shooting some cats in that robbery that took place or the alleged robbery that took place in Bay Harbor Island where two people ended up getting shot and Pooh Shiesty and his homeboys allegedly got off with the bag. You know what I mean? Now, recently, there were several media reports that said that Pooh Shiesty was working on a deal to turn himself in. But some things happened, man. Two of the guys involved in that case ended up catching their own cases. So this started looking like a brighter situation for Pooh Shiesty. You know what I mean? Because a lot of the evidence that they had against Pooh Shiesty, according to most of these reports and the discovery and things like that, is, you know, physical evidence, like video evidence and things like that. They had a lot of evidence stacked up against Pooh Shiesty. I mean... Who hasn't seen the Bay Harbor Island shooting video at this point? That news story is ran everywhere. I did a story on everything, right? Well, it looked like Pooh Shiesty caught a break. But I don't know if him speaking out today means that he might get a bigger break and be home before we know it. But let's check out exactly what Pooh Shiesty said. Now, he went to his Instagram account and posted this long message along with a picture, right? And it says this. And I'm going to break this down in parts. It says... I'm going to be back in a minute. Won't be too long till I'm free. I love all my fans and the ones who still support me. 100 heart emoji. I still remain untouched and unmesswittable. Still talking my stuff like I'm eight feet three. So basically putting it out there that he's still on his braggadocious type time, man. He's still got his chest out. He's still feeling like the man, even though he's in this situation. Now he continues by saying, Still popping king stuff, still having my way, live king, live like a king, eating like a king, and thinking like a winner. Letting people know that this situation hasn't dissuaded him at all. He's still thinking and feeling like a winner and treating himself like a king, even in lockdown. Now he says it ain't nothing changed but how my clothes get washed and how the doors get locked. And he continued that by saying, they think it's over with for me. That's okay. That's cool though. This is just a brief message. After these few words, I'm back to silent. I'm going ghost. You're going to feel me if you need to hear me. So keep that same energy. I still hear everything. Letting it be known that he still got his ears to the street. And this is going to be one of the only times he speaks out about this. Now he says, my stuff is public record. Look me up. No 5K ones. No rule 35s. Rats don't run my bloodline. We bullies. So basically putting it out there that rats don't run in his blood. He ain't got a 5K1. He ain't got a 30. He ain't got no 35s. Nothing like that, man. He ain't out there telling on nobody. So whatever time he gets, he gets on his own accord. You know what I mean? Stand up dude, right? And it seems like throughout this post, he's just letting people know that this time away and him getting locked down hasn't broke his spirit. And that just seems like the big message that he's trying to convey. But he continues by saying this. He says a lot of people happy because I'm put up right now, but that's what you call it. I've been new, all the love was fake. That's why I won't let up at all. I still got one foot on you cats. Next, 
y'all able to breathe a little bit now because I'm away right now. So basically saying that the fact that he's out the game right now is helping a lot of these rappers survive because when he was in the game, he was out here running things. To be real, Pooh Shicey was doing big things. Now also he says, but it's going to take more than tomatoes to catch up with me. You hear me? And once again, just using it in a playful rhyme type of way, letting people know that, you know, you can't mess with them. You know? Now he also says this, I ran up 10 M's in two years off of telling my life story and got more power than money, but that's something you can't buy. I'm the youngest in charge. I done been through more stuff than a 99 year old. Just taking it one day at a time, I take over everywhere I go. I'm locked up, but my mind's still free. You can't lock that up. I've been through worse situations, but I'm at my best right now. Now, it seems like he's taking a mature approach to all this, man. Now, he ends it by saying this, man. He said, it don't get no bigger than this. I'm the biggest blurt with the whole little, you know, fire emoji or the, the gunshot emoji. Hashtag free shiesty. And then it has a dash posted by words from a giant. You know what I mean? So, it looks like Pooh Shiesty is taking this time and taking the responsibility on his hands. You know, it doesn't seem like he's running away from it, and it definitely seems like he's just going to wear it and do his time as it is. Now, that's easier said than done, so we'll see how that plays out. But based on this post, this being the very first thing that he says, it seems like he's going to keep that same type of energy. And just by the way he was living, he might have even expected this coming someday. Lucky, luckily enough, Pooh Shiesty is really young. Like, he's a really, really young dude, man. I want to say like 21, 22 even. Not even that old, probably. And, you know, when he comes back to the rap game, hopefully, you know, there's a lane for him there. But it looks like it's all in the hands of the court and what goes down, you know? Now, that wasn't the only post that he made on social media. He also, in his story, posted a picture of him and Big 30. You know that's his day, his day one partner. And then he also shouted out some of the people who shouted him out throughout this tough time. One of those being Block Boy JB. He put a little post where he talked about Block Boy JB. And he said this. He said, JB a real one. He been one of those cats who believed and supported us from day one. First rap dude tried to sign us and did plenty for us. And he didn't have to do that. So basically showing Block Boy JB love. And he also reposted a post from Money Bag Yo. Now Money Bag Yo is down with, with uh, Yo Gotti in them, right? He's, he's under the CM, CMG umbrella. And Pooh Shicey, he obviously got shown some love from no, none other than Moneybag Yo. And Moneybag Yo, or excuse me, Pooh Shicey reposted that Moneybag Yo shouted him out, man. So it looks like a lot of people are showing him love, and he's trying to show love back, including even Bankroll Freddy. He even reposted something Bankroll Freddy put out there. And those are his most recent posts, and that's the most we've heard from Pooh Shiesty in a long time. Now, what is all this? Is this all a precursor to what's about to happen? Like, does is he already talked to his attorneys and everything, and now we're going to see what the sentence is going to be for Pooh Shiesty coming down if he pleads guilty to those charges? Or do you think that he's finally got an opportunity to get a hold of his phone or either somebody to work his social media for him, depending on the situation, and then that person is, is putting out the words or Pooh Shicey's putting out these words just to let everybody know that he's doing all right and he's going to stand on it like he's supposed to. Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.